Welcome to a video from thechillives.com. In this video, we've got a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is a 21277, which is an RS pre release branch build, which is good news because it means we get some of the features back. Recently, we've been having the release one, which is a different branch, which was uh, testing stuff for the future but not new features as such. And we're here, we're back with the, the pre release. So, what does that bring us? Let's have a look on the, uh, the Windows blog and we'll have a look. First, I wanted to show you the screenshot that you'll see when you come to install the build you actually um, got the normal FE release download and then the option of installing the pre-release one bit like when they uh, do feature updates so I chose this option and downloaded and installed the pre-release version otherwise you just get the standard FE release one which say, just has a few fixes in it so that means that uh, things like the um, emoji picker uh, the new keyboard on the theme OS splash screens all that kind of thing that were previously not available that uh, have been taken out are all back so we've got those back like these and new emoji and the uh, and the clipboard and all that all those new features are all back and as Microsoft said you can't go back to the FE release but then why would you so the things that have changed in this build there is the um, x64 emulation for ARM on ARM, uh, if you're running Windows 10 ARM, so if you've got something like a Surface Pro X, you can emulate, uh, you, know, you can run 64-bit Intel apps, and they'll emulate in six in the using the emulation layer, rather than not work at all. So, uh, which is great to see. It's great to see that testing. That's going to really open up, uh, make Surface Pro X use a lot, get a, another set of apps that you can use on there that should work, uh, almost like natively. The other changes is they've added some, some emoji updates. So you see here we've got some some new emojis. Not that uh, exciting. But let's have a look at this one. They've updated the animation when opening and closing a window to make the transition smoother. Let's have a look. Now can you see the difference on there? I think my screen capture software is making it... Um, not quite as as smooth as it probably would look. So yeah, it kind of they kind of expand out, whereas uh, UWP apps just previously kind of just appeared. So I think that was the that was the change on that. Ah, you've got the control Windows Shift S to. Um, Windows Shift and S to create a screenshot. There you go. It's going into screenshot mode, and um, we've got the split mode in the two-in-one keyboard, uh, which has been there for a while, but it's is back with this with this build. So you see, there's some other changes like uh, the snipping tool. You can choose to uninstall it. That's probably the old snipping tool, not the snip and sketch one. And that's in optional features. They fix up some some registry settings and and so on. Uh, they got rid of some of the folders and I don't know whether I've got any on here to show you. So what, you see you've got all your apps list on here. If you've got a folder and like uh, there like I've got these are in your folders. Now there's only because there's multiple application it shows you the whole folder and uh, so you get to see the whole folder. Previously if there was only one application in that folder then you would see it like that but now they've added some logic in this and said, oh, it's only got one item in the folder, I'll uh, hide the folder name. So that's quite a good idea, it makes it a bit neater. So here are the fixes, there's the um, they fixed the issue with signing to apps, which uh, a few people saw in previous builds, they fixed some file explorer issues, um, some signing issues, there's quite a few fixes with, with this build, you can see they've been saving some of these up for a while. Fix some language issues um, and some task manager issues. So let's have a look at the known issues. Um, they, you might see an issue with um, a machine restarting when you're using Azure Active Directory or Active Directory accounts. The, this one, the, the build hanging for extended periods of time has been there for ages and I still haven't seen it. Some issues with live pinned um, 
sites which has been around for a while and no discs appearing under the managed volumes which has been around for a while so that's all the changes with this with this build it's great to have the features back that we were missing like the uh, emoji picker and the new uh, the new keyboard and also the arm 64 bit support as well the arm emulation so i think that's that, that's really good to see that back as well so that's it for this build yeah, um, hopefully we'll start to see some new features now. And now we've got these all the back on the pre-release branch. You can find out more on thedigitallifestyle.com. I'm at Ice Dixon on Twitter.